day one of our ambulance conversion. This is our new tiny house on wheels, at least it's going to be. Um, it's crazy that a year ago we still lived in a four bedroom, two bathroom house. And we had all this furniture and all this stuff we didn't need. And over the past year we've sold all of it except for our cat who will be living in this with us. And we have moved to Arizona. We'll be traveling back and forth between Arizona and Pennsylvania every year. So we figure this is a good solution to live in. Um, so Anthony's going to show you around and we're going to talk a little bit about our plans for this thing. All right. Like Beth just mentioned, we're converting this old ambulance into our tiny home. Uh, we chose an ambulance because it's already outfitted with tons of great features and little extras that you would normally have to really stress about if you were doing any other vehicle. First up, there is tons of storage on the inside and on the outside of this vehicle. So you'll see little lockers like this all around um, that are mostly lined on the inside with metal diamond plating, plating because they're meant to hold oxygen tanks and things like that that may be combustible. So they're really robust storage compartments all around this vehicle. Um, We'll go inside in just a second. A second. A second. A second. But first, I'm going to show you around the outside. So here's an example of one of those storage containers. This one, actually, we'll see when we go inside. It's accessible from both the inside and the outside. It's meant to be used so people can load in medications and things like that before the ambulance took off. And you'll see the uh, cab compartment is just like a normal truck. This is built on an F-350 chassis. So, you know, passenger and driver seating. There's a center electrical console so you can control all of the neat little bells and whistles um, in the back and things like the siren and the horn which have to be deactivated for it to be used by uh, any average person. We have a searchlight though. We do have a searchlight still. And we could still. use that. There's backup camera, little window to the back uh, compartment there. When you're parked somewhere, you can connect to shore power. Uh, just like a, a typical RV, you just hook up an extension cord um, to this outlet here and you can power all of the electronics in the back that way so you don't have to run on the truck's battery. Our plan is to ultimately put solar panels on the roof, which can tap into the same system, charge those batteries, and we can run everything in the back even when we're not plugged into something. So inside, my, you know, a requirement for us is that we would both be able to stand up without having to crouch over. If we're going to live in this thing, we wanted to make sure and have enough headroom. So there's 72 inches right now, which is great for Beth and I. We're actually going to tear out some of this ceiling and try and get another inch or two as we replace this kind of plastic or vinyl that's here. But yeah, tons of ideas. And today we're going through the planning phases and uh, we'll let you know what we come up with. What's that? This. What? This? Yeah. So this is all the uh, <laughs> electrical for the ambulance. So these things are wired like homes, which is another awesome benefit of buying an ex-ambulance. You'll see there are normal power outlets, just like you'd see in a house, all over this thing. This thing is wired uh, extremely well. Home sweet room. That's yeah, that's right. That's it so far. Having a metaphor moment, as Anthony commented how scary it was to be taking all of this stuff out of the ambulance. And it's a mess right now. And I just thought about how, you know, it is kind of scary. We have all this stuff that works perfectly well in the space that we have it. We have shelving already, we have electrical, but we wanna move it because the way it is right now isn't making the best use of our space. And you know, once we take it all out and gut it, it's gonna, open up new possibilities. It's going to give us what we need to the, the space we need to move and build our own stuff. And we're going to forget about all that old stuff. So it's like life. It's like changes in life where it might seem scary because all this stuff is super safe. It's comfortable. It's familiar. But once you remove it, you've got a lot more space to wiggle, to find your voice, find your true self and to grow into the space that you need to.